What's up, YouTube? It's the girl Shamira. So, on this video, I'm just going to talk to you all. And the topic I'm choosing is um, school. People had asked me to make a video in regards of me attending school and how, it, how I managed to go through school. And yeah, so yeah, that's the topic today. Um, so growing up, well, first of all, I started school, I started elementary school when I think my mom said when I was about two or three years old. And I started that early with, I, I started early because, um, my disability, they were saying that. I will I will be I will learn a little slower than others. Hold on. I'm sorry. Getting a phone call. Like I was saying, I I started school early because um, they said because of my physical disability, I I would have a learning disability disability like I would learn a little slower than others. So they started me a little early. So my mom told me growing up I was um I was unable to use a calculator because of my disability. So. They taught me how to do math without a calculator, and from them doing them doing so, my subject, my favorite subject growing up was math. I I was always an expert, and I I still am an expert with math. Like that's my favorite subject. I love math. Um, so like through elementary school. I I didn't have any problems. I didn't I really did not have any problems at all because I was just as crazy and wild like the other kids. So people didn't look at me being in the wheelchair. They look at they looked at me as a normal girl just like anybody else. Like I like I didn't have any issues, no one bullied me or anything. Um, that was all the way up until middle school. Well, no, I'm sorry. High school. Um, high school was the very first time I was bullied because of my disability. Um, it was this guy. Like I didn't know him. He didn't know me at all. He didn't know me at all whatsoever. Um, but every time he saw me in the hallway, well, on the sidewalk because I went to an outdoor school. So every time he saw me out in the sidewalk, he'd be like. Um, what are you doing here, cripple? Why are you here? Don't nobody want you here. Like just saying little stuff like that. Yes, it bothered me, but I didn't let I didn't let him see that it bothered me. I still kept a smile on my face. I still had a positive attitude. I ignored him. I just didn't pay no mind. And he hated it. Um, so that happened all the way up until I wanna say eleventh grade. And it only stopped because I had a a real a real good friend, and like everybody thought that that me was brother and sister. So he told me all the time, um, let me know if anybody picking on you or whatever. I'm gonna handle it. Like you, my little sister, I got you. So um, I think I told I think I told him about to do. I'm not for sure, but it left for a year. I didn't see I didn't see the guy. At all that was picking on me, so that was it. And like through high school, like elementary school, high school, everything, I was very popular. Also, like everybody knew me. They they either knew me as the girl that was, that's running over people. <laughs> I used to run over everybody. everybody. I used to run over every, everybody, or the or um my brother, my older brother, little sister, but. Mainly, people knew me as a girl that went over everybody. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, 
So yes, I graduated from high school 2000, 2010 and I did not go straight to college afterwards. I took a break and I, that wasn't my choice neither because um, my 12th grade year, I took an architect class and that was a college, a college course. So here um, they were saying that because it was a college course and the teacher gave me a D, it put a block on my college account. So I wasn't able to start college right away. I had to wait like a year for the block to be off my account. So when I finally did start college it was 2011 and I went for um, business administration. So I was only in I was only in business administration for about maybe a year and a half, and that was only because the math was getting harder, and I just don't feel in math anymore. But I still do like math, but I just don't feel in it. So I switched my major to um what's it called? I think no, I switched my major to visual arts communication. Visual arts communication is like computer graphics. And I was a I was big on art design design stuff design the logos, uh, flyers things like that. So I was almost finished on um, um, visual arts communication until my counselor told me that I um, could not finish that major because it was a lot of hands on the last few classes of the major so I was like I have I do have an aid and my aid helps helps me with things like that so I can finish the class with no problem and they said no because my aid couldn't do the hands-on things that I that I, that I had to do for the on um, the course the the last two classes the last few classes was for instance one class photography I had, I had and must, um, I must had to hold a camera, take pictures and things like that. So I was not able to do, to do so because of my disability. And another class was for me to paint on paper. And with computer graphics, you would assume that all painting is done on the computer, all graphics are done on the computer, but they wanted me to paint on paper and I couldn't do so at the time. I didn't know like a solution for that at the time. So I decided to switch my major and I switched my major to human services. And that's because I always wanted to be a counselor for um, the youth, um, a counselor or a social worker. So I graduated with my human services my human services degree um, in 2019. Then, like I was thinking, because right after graduation, no, right before I graduated from getting my human services degree, I was thinking, what kind of job can I get with this degree that I would like to do? So I started going online. Mind you, I was telling you that I wanted to be a counselor or a mentor working work with children, but online it said that I had to have a master's degree to work with children. So I said, "Oh no, I'm not going back to school. I hate school. I don't like school. So I, I can't. I can't do it. I can, I cannot do it." So at the graduation ceremony. I was thinking to myself, like, what am I going to do now? Like, I don't have any anything in mind, like, what I want to do or anything. So, at the graduation ceremony, I thought about going back to college and getting my bachelor's degree in human services. I mean, not human services, I'm sorry. In um, uh, criminal justice. And the reason why I thought about criminal justice was because... Um, like I said, I want, I always wanted to work with children, juveniles and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I can be like a mentor because juveniles, they, they get into more trouble because they not find, they don't have the love and support at home 
So they go out into the streets and get into trouble, thinking it's cool, thinking it's thinking they get in love from the streets, but they're really not. So I want to be that person to let them know that they're going the wrong way. They need, they need to take a U-turn and go back the other way and do things right. So I want to I want to be that person to encourage juveniles to do better out of life. So. I went to I went to a university and I got my bachelor's degree this past May. Today is June twenty second, so I got my bachelor's degree May fourteenth and I'm now looking for work working with juveniles, being a mentor or um I just want to work, like anything dealing with juveniles, I just want to do. It doesn't really matter what I do. I just want to work with juveniles because I want to, I want to, I want to be that voice in their ear to let them know that it's not a good idea on the road they're going on. So, yeah, um, I just want to share that with you all. Like I said, that was a highly requested video. This is a highly requested video, so I... That's my story with school. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I plan on doing better with uploading videos. I got a plan for this. I'm going to see how it works out. But, yeah, stay tuned. And I hope you enjoyed. Um, please, 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 please comment below. Let me know what y'all want to see next. What y'all want to do a video of next. And I'm so sorry. That's my nephew. He is so cute. I love him. That's my baby. But I'm sorry if you, if you hear him screaming. I'm so sorry. But, um, yes. Just comment below. Share my page with everyone. And I would definitely try my best to do better with uploading videos. Because I know y'all miss me. And to be honest, I do... I do like doing I do like doing the videos. I just don't like editing the videos. That's my problem. But if I can find a solution into not having having to edit the video as much, it'll, it'll it'll be just fine. You'll see me more often. But until then, stay tuned and yeah, y'all pray that you, you'll see another video from me really soon. This is your girl, Shamira. Oh, y'all like my hair? I'm trying to lock my hair up. Y'all like it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not my friend, though. Enjoy. Share this video. And look, y'all be safe out there. Even though the even though the number's going down for the COVID, y'all still need to be safe. Keep your mask on. Stay away from people. For real. Until next time, it's your girl Shamira. Talk to y'all later. Bye.